kind of has become a very good friend, you know. Yeah. Uh, we bumped into each other several times in, uh, in Sweden, you know. First time I met him was when we uh, were recording vocals uh, for the 2010 album with Tim Burger, you know, Hino Pop Salad. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I, I was doing some vocal sessions and then uh, Silen was our guitar player. Okay. He did some uh, tattoo, tattoos, Carlos, in, uh, in back in the hotel, and you know, and then uh, we met up later. I've seen his art, and I was, I've been using a lot of different tattoo artists, you know, because yeah. uh, I have a lot of different art on me. But um, I think Carlos is really the one who can, or are the closest to, to, to how the art I want to have, you know, it, okay. it's, you don't have to explain too much, it's more like okay. we, we have the same kind of vision for certain things. And, uh, okay. so it was probably, yeah, it was kind of, yeah, this is the right uh, way to go, you know, and, and it's just, I think, yeah, this is the third time I'm using him uh, from today, so uh, okay. he did a leg piece and did a cover up on my neck, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, become a good friend, you know. Uh, really makes art that I can truly relate to, you know. Okay. On a more, I don't know, can I say, satanic art or uh, more, uh, yeah, dark art. Yeah. Uh, we made uh, the first piece we did was the front of my leg, uh, a Reaper or Mr. Death himself. Uh, you know, he works really fast, and okay. uh, that's. Uh, also different from, from the tattoo artists that I have used before, which are very slow and you have to go back like five, six times to go yes, through it. Yes. But that's also what I really enjoy about uh, his, his, uh, his creativity, you know, okay. the way he's uh, improvising in the moment, you know, okay. and uh, at the same time being fast and, and great. You know. okay. how, how many sessions are you? Uh, this will be the third session. Okay. So we're continuing today. We're just continuing on the on the back side of the leg to okay. make it more complete. You know. So uh, today, uh, yeah, we're gonna work on the back of that symbol on the back of my leg. So okay, and I know it will be great. So it's no worries. Yes. <laughs> well, the concept. I don't know if I should call it a concept, but um, this is actually a. I had some scars on my on my right leg that I'm trying to covering up. So uh, it's basically uh, Mr. Death himself, um, okay. and uh, which I see as a you know extremely powerful symbol in in a way. You know, and uh, uh, I would say it's also maybe a bit personally related. I don't really make tattoos to to. Uh, to show off to people, yeah, it's not my intention at all. It's, it's something it's, for yourself. Yeah, it's something for myself, and it's something that, um, as I said before, something I can art that I can relate to, you know, as a, as a person and uh, what I am about. And uh, so, but this is still not finished yet, so we'll see when it's uh, it's done. But um, it's uh, definitely. Uh, something I can stand for. Yeah. Yeah. So. And by the way, if you ever have the chance to hook up with Carlos from uh, Black Shadow Tattoos, it's definitely worth worth checking out and you know where to get your tattoos.